Hey, what's up dudes? Crazy here, back in Omen Sky Beyond, and today, at the request of many of you guys, we are going to jump into trading. So this is going to be all about guiding you to become a better trader, and the previous video that I made on this is actually more than one year old, so I kind of also wanted to bring a fresh twist to that, as well as some of the stuff that I have learned along the way. So let's jump right into it, and for those who already have enough money at hand or other money-making methods, you might be wondering, well, why would I even want to start trading if I already have money or if I already have this or that method that also brings me a ton of units? Well, there's a few reasons, a few good reasons. First of all, of course, this is just another money-making method that you can add on top of what you already have. You don't have to exclusively do one, you can combine them. And uh, the most important of them all, this is also probably like top three money-making method in No Man's Sky and has been like this for at least least two years ever since it was revamped in Atlas Rises, but on top of that it also lets you discover a little bit, so you will travel from system to system, especially rich systems, and you will get to encounter a lot of ships, a lot of NPCs, you will do a lot of exploration, so it's not just mindless grinding, it's also a little bit of fun. Now let's get started, of course, with the prerequisites. Personally, since I am in the end game, I have a huge inventory size at my disposal, so I have my hauler over here. This is something that you will want, but it's not mandatory, because if you start with trading, you can actually start small and work your way up from there. So it becomes exponentially better and better the more trading you will do. As you go from system to system, you can go ahead and purchase and use some of the funds that you get from trading to upgrade your actual inventory and maybe even get a ship if you do this. So like two, three or even four birds with one stone. Of course, you will need to do this exclusively exclusively in rich systems. I'm going to show you the rich system that I'm in in just a bit, but let's go over at the trading post. All of the selling that you will do will be done at trading post because here is where the best prices are at. So let's start things off with some of the trading goods that I can purchase from here. And the trading goods are actually really easy to spot. They are literally the first row over here or the first page and you can see them by their distinct name and the fact that their prices are indicated with these colors and this is important i'm going to show you why these percentages are the way they are after we analyze the system that i'm in but generally speaking you will want to buy items cheap and sell them expensive that is the basic of just having profits if you want to make profits you need to buy cheap sell high really easy. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go over the more expensive items because these have the highest margins. Now the reason I said to always do this in rich systems is because A, some of these more expensive trading materials can only be found in rich systems and B, the number of them is also affected by how rich the system is. So if you want to buy hundreds of these, you will need to go into rich systems. Now the next part is actually self-explanatory and I've actually explained this in the past, but every transaction that you do, be it buying or selling, must be done into one single transaction. So if you sell multiple of the same item in different transactions, the price will go lower, so you will exponentially sell them at lower prices, and if if you buy the same type of item in multiple transactions, the price will exponentially go up. So that's why I said one single transaction for everything. So in this case, I'm going to fill my exosuit inventory, but as I was saying, I'm only starting with like 5 million, so I can only buy 122. If I were to purchase multiple of these items, I would have completely filled my first inventory, the exosuit with the teleport coordinators, and then in the hauler, in a different whole transaction, I would have put the iron spheres. But yeah, I'm going to explain that once we get a lot more funds, and now let's go into space and do a little bit of analysis analyzing on the current system that we are in. Now before I forget, there's a few things that you need to keep in mind here, um, especially for the hauler, because there's a few upgrades that you will need, especially the hyperdrive upgrades. You will travel a lot, so make sure you have these upgraded on both of the tech slots as well as the general slots, so you can go as far away as possible and consume as less warp cells as possible. Everything else is not 100% mandatory, just the hyperdrive, and of course, 
the economy scanner. We will need this for the following thing. And in this case, we have a mercantile system with a sell side of 46.4% and a buy side of 29.9% as well as being wealthy. That's why I said we will do everything in wealthy systems. So let's go over the first one, the mercantile. This is very important because there are actual trade outs. So you don't just buy from any system, be it rich or not, and sell to any other system. Them, you actually have to follow some routes. In No Man's Sky, there are two types of trading routes that you can get. The first one, which is also the fastest, involves trading, advanced materials and scientific systems. The second route that you can use is also longer. It involves four systems, so it involves power generation, mining, manufacturing and technology and then all the way back to power generation and again. In this case, the mercantile system is another terminology used for a trading system. There can be a lot of terminologies and you will want to purchase from, in this case, the trading system, sell it into advanced materials, then into scientific and then back into trading and this cycle will be repeated again and again and again but of course using different solar systems of high wealth. Otherwise let's go over the sell and buy side. These are also very important and if you buy something from any solar system you will want the buy side to be as low as possible. In this case it's minus 29.9% and 30 or minus 30% is the lowest it can go to. And in this case the sell side over here is really bad only 46% it can go as high as 75 maybe even like 78 but generally speaking if you find something like 69 to 75% on the sell side that is also going to be very good now as I was saying this is the start of my trading route I have invested 5 million into this mercantile system which falls into the trading category so what I need to do now is to find an advanced mineral system so let's go ahead and do just that and I'm even going to use my filters to scan by economy and I believe that advanced materials should be with pink or purple so uh, in this case let's see we just found a material fusion 74.8% and even the buy side is actually extremely good so we just reached this destination I'm going to go in scan for trading outposts and because I have the economy scanner it will immediately reveal it on my map and it should be really really close on that planet over there let's go to the trading post and just sell what we have so again we're going to do one single transaction let's go on to the sell side and look at this teleport coordinators now sell for 8.5 million with a plus 33 percent so even though the 74 percent is what was showing in the description of the system it doesn't mean that you're going to get a 74 percent it's just that the maximums of these will be affected but for the sake of this video i'm just going to do it over here so i'm going to sell everything for a profit of about three 0.6 million so that's already having me in the plus in just a couple of minutes Once to do that you will go again into the buy side and purchase more of these again and these will be sold into the next system in the sequence which in this case is going to be a scientific system so i'm going to fill my entire ship with it five dimension taurus just like that in your ideal route you should fill up all of your inventories as much as possible just because these are less expensive it doesn't mean you shouldn't fill your inventory with those so let's go ahead and jump into a scientific system again the scientific system is a general term so we will look for anything that reads scientific research experimental mathematical or anything along those lines because i want to set up a trading route i know that i've started from this one vexari which is the first one in the route and then i've reached the second one which is the one that I'm currently in. So I'm going to rename both of these so that I know where they are placed in to the actual route. In this case, I'm going to describe it as being a trading system, part one of the route. And then for the second one, I'm going to give it another appropriate name so I know what it is. And it's going to be like just advanced mats. This is going to be part two. And that's it. And now we have 
two systems one after another and whenever I feel like it I can teleport to this one and just start the trading route and so on and so on. From this point on we need to continue the actual trade route and what we're going to do is to find a scientific system because as the chart implies advanced materials sell best into scientific systems. So scientific systems should be something like a darker blue which in this case would look something like this. There's another one advanced 75 and 24 so this is as good as it gets actually and in case I want to search for something better I can just mark it and then go check out what else there is over here and in case I don't find anything better I can just come back to whatever I have marked but in this case I believe that what we have just found is pretty much the best I can get so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the system that I just marked it's scientific and it looks really cool I would search for a trading post but I kind of want to compare the prices with the space station as well if I were to sell it over here it would be like 22% and 31% over here. As far as the buy side goes, here is why I said that you should always buy from the trading posts and this is the reason, only 5.3% um, discount on these. Actually it is much better, so like instead of 31 and 24 it's 35 and 45, so way better even at the trading post. And remember we started with 5 million, so I am going to sell this from my exosuit, this for my exosuit and then going back into my starship it's 3.8 and this is just the second trading and we, oh my, I already tripled everything that I have it's 16 million in just two trades that is insane dude so I'm just gonna purchase these and I will take a 70% cut and it could have been easily like 25 but whatever I'm just gonna purchase everything add it into my exosuit the same with the organic piping so let's find a good green system I found another mercantile with 27 and 77 so this is probably best in slot just gonna go in sell everything really fast and let's see what types of prices do we have so uh, the prices in this case are pretty damn good so that's 8 million that's 7 almost 3 and then switching to the starship that's another 1.5 which brings us to a total of 25 million and that is in about 15 to 20 minutes once you set up the whole route and all of the systems and you know exactly where they are such as this you will not have to waste any time to search for new systems you will have the route already set up so you can make more than 100 million per hour but yeah anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did a thumbs up on it would be super appreciated and let me know down below if there's anything else you want me to cover in this game there's definitely a ton of other stuff coming up but I also know there's a lot of questions still being asked even though there's a lot of guides here on this channel so yeah this is it and I will see you guys in the next one so peace out